Now, I want to give a quick recap of at least my interpretation of some of the events that happened related to the Affordable Care Act because telling a story can give us some better understanding of how the current implications should be implemented or how they came about and how we can act on the tax preparation at this point in time. So you may or may not recall that in the Obama administration, there was a big push related to healthcare. They wanted to solve the healthcare problems, some of the problems being healthcare is very expensive. They wanted access uh, to the healthcare and so on. Now, some of the solutions proposed included, for example, this, this issue of a free rider problem from an economic standpoint. This is a typical kind of economic standpoint situation or argument in that uh, there are many people that don't have health insurance that still get health care, for example, go into the emergency room when they need it, when they can't pay for the health care or have coverage for it, which causes the insurance for people that do pay for the health care uh, to go up. That's one issue that came up. There's another issue as to whether it would be more beneficial to have one large, basically, healthcare system uh, or to have more uh, competing health insurance kind of system, a more market-based approach, which I won't go into uh, in a lot of detail here. Now, with this free rider problem, it's kind of similar to auto insurance. So you have a similar situation where they basically said that you have to have insurance in many areas if you're going to get a driver's license. And in doing so, since everybody is insured, then that will hopefully lower the cost of, of insurance uh, because you're not going to get into an accident or, or less likely to get into an accident with someone that can't cover the damage, you know, if they caused the accident. Uh, however, in the car insurance, the issue was that you had to get insurance in order to get a driver's license. Whereas on the federal level with the health insurance, they basically wanted to require health insurance just as a condition in and of itself, not to get anything else. And there's a, and then if you don't, how are they going to enforce that? They would have to hit you with penalties and whatnot on uh, taxes. Uh, and so there was a question as to whether that was a constitutional thing to do, to force someone to buy something uh, and, and then hit them with penalties or taxes on you know the tax return if they don't as a consequence to try to enforce that. And so there was back and forth on this whole uh, type of thing. And what we ended up basically having is, is, is a, a uh, healthcare marketplace kind of system where uh, some people could basically get access to a, a credit for health insurance. And that's obviously the idea was to help more people to be able to afford, in essence, uh, the health insurance.